Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about mainly why the forehand breaks down more often than the backhand. And this is just uh, not through just me, but I, you know, a lot of players I know I've talked to, um, interviewed with uh, Dr. Alan Fox. He even said that uh, that's a common thing to happen. And I want to go over kind of why that is. So I think knowing why, just like, um, you know, as a teacher, I try to explain the why part before we do the, the what part. So you can get a better understanding and hopefully you know what to do because uh, the logical explanation afterwards, um, it should make sense at least. So anyways, um, the biggest deal with a backhand versus a forehand, no matter if you have a one hand or a two hand, is that you're using weaker muscles. So there's nothing you can do to swing hard with your upper body that's going to get it to go far and fast. So we all know that intuitively, so that's why we step into the ball with our backhand every shot we step in. There's not a time where we're like this, hitting like this. This doesn't happen. But on a forehand, we can get away with it a lot. We can get away with hitting off our back foot a lot more because our right side, if we're right-handed, is more dominant because we're using the stronger muscles in our body to hit the ball. So with that, that helps me make a better understanding of what I need to do to hit a better forehand. And that's simply just trying to get the ball, uh, push into the ball. Now, there's a few things that you can try out and see what works for you, okay? So first of all, on a neutral position, neutral means, you know, I'm like on a skateboard or a surfboard. I tell my students, so I'm going this, I'm, I'm uh, skateboarding, the net is that way. And the whole idea now is how do I how do I get my body into it? So a lot of players I've seen will will step, and as they step, they're supposed to step. All their weight is on their front foot now. You need to make sure that when you are in a position of loading, all your weight's on your back foot, and when you step, your still weight your weight is on your back foot. You shift your weight forward as you swing as best you can. So the neutral position is ideal because you can you can put all of your weight into the ball. So a lot of players, if it's short, a lot of players will step in and get their body weight into the ball. So notice I stepped and then swung. It wasn't where I would step and all my weight's here, like I'm a falling, I call it a falling tree. You know, I'm here and then I swing. This happens on the serve as well. You know, you're going like this um, before you even swing, before you're loaded. So that's a neutral position. You could try that one where you're neutral you step, all your weight's on your back foot, and then you swing. The second one is an open stance, and that's one where it gets a little tricky because I feel that an open stance forehand um, does not allow you to be that aggressive because it's very easy to stand like this at the baseline. And then when the ball is short, you're standing and you're, you're trying to hit like this instead of stepping into the ball. So I try to get every student of mine to step into the ball first. Now you're going to play players that hit the ball hard and you can't step into the ball, but you still need to shift your weight into it. So that's where you get your right hip if you're right handed into the ball. So what I mean by that, if the ball is hit hard and I'm in a loaded position, I'm trying to get my right hip through the ball so I can shift my weight. And I always try to get my hip into the court pointing in that direction. While Rinka is a really good example of how, how to do that. You can watch videos of him and he does, uh, Stan Wawrinka does a great job of getting his hip through the ball and able to hit the ball really hard that way. Because let's face it, when you get to a higher level or even, even when you're progressing, if you don't see the ball very well, if it, it's hit too hard or you just don't see it, you have to still load up. So if I'm loading up here and I want to hit the ball, I can push my hip through the ball and still get a good powerful shot through that. So I always think, if I'm on the run, I still need to go that way. So if I'm on the run, I'm still gonna get my back foot behind the ball so then I can turn my hip and push my hip into the court. So I'm not arming it and I'm not swinging with my, like my wrist and my arm the whole time. And that's very easy to do because like I said in the beginning, it's very strong, you're a lot stronger on the right hand side. So the backhand is just shifting your weight. I never really had a problem other than timing of having my backhand really break down, but forehand definitely. And I just keep, keep trying to remind myself that it's all on my feet and that I need to shift either step and shift my weight forward, notice my hip goes through, or I'm in a loaded position here and I'm going to swing 
and get my hip through as well. No matter what, you're trying to go through the court with your shot, not trying to just stand back here and swing with your arm, which I've done numerous times and it doesn't work. So try to think feet, 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 and then maybe that will help you um, develop a more uh, predictable, uh, reliable forehand. So good luck.